Today we have another major filming day and we have Anna with us. He's an incredible camera rig, so it's getting very professional now. Yeah, now it's going to sell better, you know? Yeah, we got all the toys out today. <laughs> Yeah, now we have the proper plates on and um, it's uh, yeah, our first drive out and uh, that feels really great. They are worth their weight in gold, the amount that it cost us to get on the road, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was super exhausting and uh, yeah, hundreds of mails and phone calls and yeah, it's, it's crazy, but uh, we made it. <laughs> Swiss bureaucracy and the incompetence probably quite a bit as well. <laughs> You're still laughing, that's a good sign. Yeah, there were times when we weren't laughing anymore in between. It was uh, really, really tough. But now, yeah, we're, we're done, we're happy. We try and forget this whole thing and we look forward now. So we are here at the uh, Versuchsstollen Hagerbach, which is an underground testing facility with like many, many kilometers of tunnels. And it's an event of our software partner, Motix. We've never been here. So let's see what's expecting us in there. Langsam, langsam. Langsam? Oh, man, it's good. 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 It's So, why electric vehicles? You can imagine if you drive around diesel engines in a, in a closed environment all the time, it gets polluted quite quickly. So about 80% of the operation costs from a mine comes from ventilation. So basically just to keep the people working there alive, it's like 80% of the costs. Then of course, if you have electric vehicles in the mine, you are able to charge them with renewable energy. The operation cost is much lower. Electricity is cheaper than diesel. And of course, it's also safer for, for the workers there because you are not exposed to all, the, to all the emissions all the time. So all kinds of underground operations are a very interesting field for electric vehicles because uh, it's a big issue with the exhaust fumes and the heat. So all kinds of mining operations, tunnel building, they want to switch to electric mobility and we have the perfect vehicle for it. So we want to show what we can do. Yeah, the future. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit angst. I had the impression that the car was exactly built for this car. Yeah, this is now the expedition ausstattung in that sense. But the box behind it, that's a quick change system. Die hat man in etwa 10 Minuten gewechselt, also da kann man so Füße rein tun und das fahren wir auch absenken und dann zum Beispiel eine Ladebrücke oder was auch immer montieren, einen Kran oder einen Tank. Da sind auch kleinere Räder dann dran für im Normalfall. <lacht> und dann ist es natürlich ein ganzes Stück tiefer. Und ich denke, der Hauptgrund ist zu den anderen Fahrzeugen, die da stehen, ist, dass wir eine ganz normale Straßenzulassung haben. Und das hat je nachdem dann Vorteile. Wir haben jetzt eine hydropneumatische Federung. Also eben kann man, die passt sich automatisch auch ans Gewicht der Ladung an. Und man kann sie eben absenken und anheben. Man kann sie auch für gewisse Anwendungen komplett blockieren. Zum Beispiel bei Kranarbeiten oder so. Aber eben der Wendekreis ist eigentlich relativ klein mit der Allradsenkung. Ähm, jetzt auch mit, ähm, mit der großen Bereifung haben wir nicht den vollen Einschlag. 
Aber mit der kleinen Bereifung kann man wirklich äh, extrem eng werden. Das ist nicht alles festgehen, aber du könntest ein lustiges Zeug machen. <lacht> ja, gut, so wie es schon nicht kommt. Nein, aber du musst auf einen Hauer noch ein bisschen schauen, was er so genau weißt, dass du nicht so kaputt machst oder so. So much fun to have the street approval and to test it in the terrain. But we're really scared, we, it's like our baby, so we need to carefully get there to actually do some difficult terrain stuff. 